right? Welcome to the Game Face Show. Thanks so much for joining us. I am definitely dressed in a Halloween costume tonight because it's Halloween, of course. <laughs> this wasn't thrown on me last minute because I came wearing a green top or anything like that. No, we're celebrating. I'm a... What the hell am I? <laughs> I don't know what I am. I'm a man of the night, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us this evening. There's loads of you on the Twitch. You've all, you've all been there. Everyone's been, we've all been chatting for the last hour. I feel like we already got going. I didn't even think about that as a thing that we could, we could, we could talk before the show even started. Uh, I've got, I've got a few things that I want to cover tonight. But the one I want to say to start with is the YouTube. Thanks so much, everyone's been watching. Our YouTube hits and the watch time has gone through the roof. It's been insane. But if you are watching this on YouTube and you wonder why I'm doing that, going, what? Oh, and I'm going, <laughs> yeah. It's because we, we, we do this show live every Thursday, 8 till 9 UK time. We're on Twitch and Live Leak. So watch it live and then you can, you, can, you know what all this is? Look, we've got chip tunes for autism. I'm being called Smexy right now. Smex me. And you're missing that. Squall, loads of stuff. <laughs> we even chatted for an hour. So if you are watching on YouTube, thank you for your support. Thank you so much. Drop us a comment and all that. But join us live. I'd love you to. Coming up on the show tonight. I, 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 we've got loads of stuff, haven't we? I've got a little... I'm going to give a little thank you out to the Button Basher people. Hey. They were in, they were on our second show, and yesterday they smashed the target, 5K, so they're gonna be, they're gonna be making their little movie, aren't they? Which is great, I'm so glad that, I, I, God, I hope they let me come, because we were gonna be there, we're gonna be doing some behind the scenes stuff and all the rest of it. Uh, Oracle, if you could get a link out for the button bashes, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, just to make it easy for you, I've not put that link on the show notes, so that's extra easy for you. <laughs> but it's already, it's already done now. They've, they've smashed the target. We're also going to be talking a little bit about Bethesda as well. Good old Bethesda. They've, they've been a little bit naughty. I want to talk about the USA as well. The lads, we had them over at the weekend. There's us. There's a little thing there from Instagram. We were filming all sorts of gubbins and stuff, so I've got a bit of gossip. If you're into your chip battles gossip, then... This is the place. I've also got I, I've got some good stuff to tell you about that. And I want to talk about Project Tingle. Look at that. Uh, oh, we, we were chatting about that before we came on air and the views are very, very mixed. But you know what? That makes me happy. I'm glad. I'm glad. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Last week's winner was... Oh, we have written it. <laughs> I said his name, didn't I? I can't remember. <laughs> I forgot it. Mike, Mike Powers, thank you so much for that. Last week's winner was Mike. Uh, this week's game is Jackbox 2. Thank you so much, Cinda, for donating that. And we're actually going to talk about the way that we get a lot of the games that we give away. Uh, Mike Powers, oh, sod it. Look below, it's in, the, it's in the description if you're watching on YouTube. I'll send him a message, eh? Yeah. <laughs> is that it then? So is this going to be like when a newspaper prints like the corrections? Uh, 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 Every week, are we going to have to jump back to, like, what Graham cocked up the week before and make it right? Another little package for you. We're going to have to see. Anyway, I've, I've already been talking to him too much. I've broken my own rules. Over there, we've got our lovely guests. Hello. Hey. hey, hey. Uh, we've got Mr. Oracle currently still undefeated at chip battles. How are you feeling? You all right? He's not being rude, by the way. He's doing all the social medias. There's a lot of social medias. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a hell of a lot. But how are you doing tonight? How are you feeling, man? You all right? Yeah, good. It was a busy weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend this weekend as well. Yeah. So we've got oh. Chip Fest tomorrow. Yeah, Chip Fest. And then t t back here for Live Leak on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a kids party on the Saturday daytime. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> and then next, next to Oracle, we've got, well, she's a writer. She's an artist. She's a former producer from Game, Shave, you, you, Game Face. You may have noticed... She's got the shaved head. She was in that video that we put out recently. It's been doing very, very well. It's a lovely sofa smile. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe we went to all the trouble of getting a babysitter only for you to sit across the room from me all night? It's what we do anyway on a regular basis. I know you are. <laughs> we got that big baby prison. Yeah. All I do is like look up every now from it. You are. You all right? Yeah. You, you putting a kettle on or what? <laughs> This is about the same. In fact, my visibility tonight is better than it usually is. Is it? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and you're, you're not buried in your phone, so I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, we had to get Soph on tonight because she was she was quite involved over the weekend, and I I want I want you to see the look on her face as I bring up <laughs> certain things. Uh, I've written I've written something here. Let's see if it works. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Maybe later, maybe later, we'll give it another go. Right, Bethesda. Now, this isn't a problem for Game Face because they don't do it for us anyway, but they've stopped giving out review copies, like, you know, in advance of the games being released. Now, Bethesda are saying that that's so that everyone can enjoy the game and everyone can get together and there's no spoiling or anything that time in, I know, yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, but I, d I don't know, this is a, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it, with the old Bethesda? Because, as I said, it's not a problem for me, because they don't send us review copies anyway. So far, the emails have been ignored. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Um, Bronze Trooper said it's pretty... It's Halloween! It's Halloween! We're celebrating... Look, look. I'm a man of the night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Corvo said it's really annoying. Actually, Corvo's just said in terms of the, we're just falling apart now, aren't we? In terms of there's too many people on Twitch, I can't handle it. Uh, I'm going to try my best to ignore him. So yes, uh, the policy unofficially started this year with the Doom reboot and the Skyrim Special Edition, Dishonored 2. Sorry, Corvo, I know you wanted a review copy of that. They're not, they're not going out, so um, you know. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I know you brought it up originally, didn't you? Yeah, like it's. I read about it through Total Biscuit and Jim Sterling, that sort of those those blogs. But it just it definitely seemed like a way for Bethesda to avoid bad reviews because there's no way you'd do it otherwise. See, I, I don't, I'm I'm not a big fan of Jim Sterling, which might seem odd considering how ridiculous I'm being right now on the old <laughs> YouTube's. But like, so what did Jim have to say about it then? Just the same as Total Biscuit, really. That it is just a tactic to avoid poor reviews. And I think that they're trying to cover it up a bit as well by saying like one of the reasons they gave was that they they held back review copies of Doom and that turned out okay. As if that's, everyone's supposed to go, oh well it's fine to do it for everything else then that might not be as good. The weird thing with me though and this is that as a rule Bethesda puts out good games and Bethesda puts out games that sell very very well regardless of reviews. I mean reviews don't actually affect game sales that much unless it's you know i mean look at look at no man's sky that's still sold that's like was it like the second biggest playstation selling game ever quite a lot of them got refunded though well we don't know the statistics on that i i, I can't imagine i don't think no man's sky 2 will sell very well no 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 but but you, you see what i'm saying though that yeah. the, the amount of bad press that it got it still did very 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 well the, the the weird thing and i do agree with that i see your point on the whole um you know, avoid bad reviews and everything, but this isn't some little, you know, this like asset stealing green light dodgy thing. This is like Bethesda. What do they have to worry about? It's more the, the precedent that it sets as well, because once they're doing it, they're one of the big guys. So it kind of gives everyone else a reason to go, oh, these guys are doing it and they're successful. So why shouldn't we? But then it lets the shitty green light developers that are putting out rubbish games, they do hold back anything for review until it's too late. Yeah, well, they, I mean, they do it anyway, don't they, really? They're, they're, they're just, they're waiting for the things. I just don't get it. I don't get it. This isn't like, you know, this isn't, I don't want to mention any particular companies or anything like that, but it, it that logic makes sense, but it, it, I don't see how it applies to Bethesda because they make good games. They're a respected company. They make amazing games. They've got a really good rep. So I don't know. It's it's it's. Do you know what, though? Trying to work out, Games company logic is is like trying to prove God exists, isn't it? There's just no point. And at the end of the day, you can just get on with your life and you're better off without it. Uh, Nintendo have been flirting with this idea for the last year or so with Nintendo Direct. Uh, Bronze Trooper said, I've, I avoid official games reviews for the most part. Yeah, well, people do. People do. They don't care. He's also that he's already got Skyrim Special Edition. I know it's a weird one, that, isn't it? All the PC elite. Um... Bino's saying he's told me the answer. What's what's the answer? Oh, it's because all games journalists are all scum. Oh, they are. They are. They are. <laughs> Except us. We're all right. 
<laughs> they are all scum. They're all dirty. Horrible, horrible people. Look what happened. Look what happened to her, eh? Couple Excuse of months. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to move on anyway. I, 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 I don't know. I'm... Bethesda have already blacklisted some review sites because of recent events, so this makes sense. Well, they they did they were blacklisting people because because I mean, all right. I, the other side to it is people are leaking these games. You know, they've they've got these blanket agreements to not leak footage and all that. But people are doing. They are. You know. Um, so there is that, rather than just being like, oh, bad review. Because that's what that's what doesn't get me about the bad review review, review thing. I'm going to say it one more time before we move on. How does that apply to Bethesda? I don't understand. Someone needs to enlighten me on that. Because bad reviews are not going to affect the sales of Skyrim in the slightest. Not even not even slightly. They're not going to affect the sales of Doom. They're not going to affect the sales of Dishonored. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Because they've got so much marketing behind it. I could sit here for a full hour and go in, I was really let down by Dishonored 2. It just didn't live up to anything. It's not going to affect the slightest thing. I'm really looking forward to Dishonored 2. I hope it is good. I loved, I loved the first one. And it's going to be awesome. Anyway, anyway, let us know in the comments below. Let us know on the Switch. Uh, I'm, I'm going to move on anyway. This weekend, we had a full table. We did a chip battles at Fab Cafe. JK Lol and Fuzzy Proxy 2XAA paid their way up here. Oracle put money in his petrol to pay his way here as well, but he only came from the other side of Manchester. But it still counts. And, oh, excuse me. And <laughs> we had a great weekend. We had UK versus USA on the Saturday. Uh, and and it was epic. It was, it was, it, it, it was, it was interesting. There was a lot of panic. There was a lot of chaos. The third and final round, we had a two on two. JK Lowell comes up to me and says, my laptop's gone off. And I was like, We'll plug it in then. And he's like, I've not brought the plug. And I was like, why have you not brought the plug? You came all the way from America with your laptop. Oh, we've got the plug. It's in the hotel. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I gave him my laptop plug because I because I always have my laptop. even Because I thought I might end up DJing, so I had it just in case, but I didn't need it. Give him mine. And he went, oh, it's, it's not the right size. And I was like trying to be the calm, like, just try it first before you tell me it doesn't work and then as he was trying it i was going around getting more and more and he comes up like hey man it works i was like ha -ha, yes um i was very very happy with that but it did go the way of the uk the uk won it and 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 i'll tell you why actually i'll tell you exactly why and they, they said this themselves because we were filming with them on the monday as well and it's just because they didn't write the stuff in time they were writing it in fab cafe i got there you may have seen the picture on our twitter at game face show they were all there i got there they were working they were working right to the last second i couldn't even get them up to sound check i was like come on come on and and that's why i didn't go for him because they didn't know you need to bring your absolute A game in. You need to know every beat that's coming. Every single beat. They know that now. They definitely know that now. I think they're at an advantage for the next time we do do a chip battles there. But they just didn't know the beats that were coming, which meant they couldn't get the crowd knowing. I could tell the bits that they'd written way in advance because that's when they started dancing in sync and that's when they started. You could tell, but the stuff they'd written there and then it fell a little bit flat. But it was a great night for everyone involved. There was a lot of new people involved with the scene. And I don't know if you know this, there was a guy that runs a festival who was talking about bookings. Now, I went to you then as a nice thing because uh, Sophus Mao, wonderful Sophus Mao, she's been to two chip battles now. The first one was at Band on the Wall where she got so drunk she had to go home before it even started. <laughs> 50, like, and I was the compare for the evening, hammered busy. There was no stage manager, so I was running up trying to hurt the bands and they were all bands being bands. So there was, I had enough going on and she was just going, Graham, I need to just go home. I'm really sorry. And I was like, just give me just 10 more minutes, baby. I'll be on in 10 minutes, please. You've never seen one. Anyway, she went home, missed it completely. After flirting with Harley Likes Music, thank you very much. Do you remember that? I don't remember Harley. Oh, being you were there at you all. were all over that shit. <laughs> it, oh, I'm not even going to go into that. So, <laughs> so she finally comes on Saturday because I I've done my towing. So my brother took the bit. So it's like, oh, you can come, you can come, you can come. We start chip battles, UK versus USA. About ten minutes before, I'm trying to get people up because they're just normal people at Fab Cafe. They've not come to sh to shout and heckle and all the rest of it. They're just there having a bit of a chill. They finished work or whatever. They've been shopping, and I was like, come on, come on. And I look round. I look for Sophie, the mother of my daughter, <laughs> and she sat right deep in one of these huge chairs, <laughs> surrounded by dudes. I don't know a single one of whom, just laughing like that. 
And I was like, you gonna, <laughs> right in the corner, you, you, you gonna, I think I tried to be nice about it. Like, who are you gonna support then? What's going on, you know? And. I think I said one minute I'm drinking. Yeah, she's like, no. <laughs> and. <laughs> the second you show fear, it's all over. So I was like trying to make light of it, like, come on. <laughs> and then she got so hammered that she just kept coming up to me going, I've got so many people dancing for you. She didn't. I did. <laughs> she just stood there, right, going, boo, <laughs> like, boo, you suck. And I was like, just, just bring it, just bring it down a notch. It's really good what you're doing, but bring it down a notch. But you're amazing, thank you for that. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you broke the tension. How are you feeling about that anyway, Oracle? How are you feeling about the old battles? That was all right. It was, it was good practice. Oracle but, loved my heckling. I did. Because it was on our side. It was on your side. <laughs> you could hear it over the music. I loved it. Uh, it's I, like I, classic, you suck. You suck. <laughs> yeah, I, I very much appreciated it. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. I'm, I'm taking the mic out of you now, but it was good, and I do appreciate You're it. You're the one wearing my waistcoat, so... This isn't your waistcoat. It's Halloween. This is... <laughs> this is... This was... Legit. I, I I have had this plan for days. Yeah. That's why I sorted my tan out before we came on. Yeah. Um, hello, Alina. Hello, Sina Danson, JK Low, Bino, all the rest of them there. Uh, Fuzzy Proxy. Uh, it's Fuzzy Proxy he said, yeah, next time I'll be a bit more prepared, but it was still such a fun time. He was lovely, that Fuzzy. I, I'd barely spoke to him before he arrived. He was absolutely lovely. Uh, we've got a, we've got a video that we're going to play in a minute, actually, so you can actually see who I'm doing. Uh, we've also got, we've got Hey Phoenix player. Uh, next time is going to be awesome. Maybe we'll come to you guys. We've got it, haven't we? We've got it. Fuzzy Proxy has said, Soph was great. Booing helps people dance. Well, it does, actually. So I'm moaning about it, but... I think it went really well. We also, though, yeah, we filmed a couple of videos. So we've done a Let's Play and we did a reaction video to the next Chip Battles and we did a little bit of an interview. And we're going to tease you now. It's, but it's going to be a triple tease, okay? So we're going to tease you for the Fuzzy Pro Proxy reaction video. We're going to tease you for the next Chip Battles. <laughs> I'm going to tease you for the interview that we're going to do, and it's oh, it's all in one. It's all one big tease in one lovely video. You're going to... This might be the third time in my life that I have a contactless orgasm. Hello, Game Face. We are Fuzzy Proxy and JK Lol. We are here in Manchester, UK, with the mates, and we're going to watch this chip battle that hasn't been released yet. It's... Chroma Touch versus Gwem, and we're going to be reacting to it live. Gwem always has good energy. A lot of energy. Oh my god. Size of the crowd is great. Ooh, a C64. Excellent. I also noticed the launch pad that one of them had in there. Damn, this is fresh as hell. Already getting good vibes from this guy. This is like really chill stuff already. Just like this a really chill intro. Already this one has a really good jive to it. Uh, that guy isn't having it. Yeah. They're just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I'll rate my kind of stuff. That kick sound, though. That kick is so, so good. Wait, what? He, he looks like he just got off of work at the local cinema, and it's just like, oh, wait, I have to do a chip battle. <laughs> Crap. No no read on your music, man. You're great. Oh, dude. People oh. are doing the robot over to the other side of the group. That's how you know this guy is legit. Damn. Just... Get my shit over to the other side. Fuck. <laughs> Every time Graham swears, an angel is born. Every time Graham swears, take a drink. This is this is nice and jamming. Like I, I'm straight out vibing of this. There's definitely good vibes going on here. Cheer more for our motherfuckers. You did a great job. You do you, boo. I like it. I like this. I could dance to this. All right. What do you think? I give both performers eight reggae air horns out of a possible five. I think I can go with that. Leave your opinions down in the comments below. Like, subscribe to Game Face. And uh, will there be a little poll thing at the top right yeah, there? Yeah, wait, 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 don't, don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
Hello there. I thought we'd go to break then. I was like kind of half chilly, wasn't I? <laughs> um, we've we've had a few comments whilst I've, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm getting I'm getting good at this slowly. Uh, Bino has asked, does Soph like chip tunes or does she pretend she's drunk so she can go home? I don't pretend I'm drunk. No, she gets drunk. She I'm legit gets drunk. On the drunkness, and I do like chip tune. Like more some than others, but yeah. You're not huge on it though, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not like downloading all the albums and things. You said that outside here tonight, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. Like I, I would never buy a chip album. But, but then again, do you buy any music these days? Well, I'm not really big on music in the first place. Um, but every now and then when I am listening to Game Face, one will come up and I'm just like, oh, this is good, and I'll sit there at home. <laughs> well, you said something. You said something else that was quite uh, interesting. It reminded me of Hayden. Actually, it's, you, know, you might not necessarily like the music, but you like the scene and the community. Yeah, I like what it's about. I like what it's doing. Uh, Pro World Double O Seven has said, "London Chip Battle, please." Next week, we're premiering our last, our our one and only London Chip Battle. It was yeah. epic. That's what they were reacting to then in that video, and. Yeah, you're gonna love it. It was like a couple of hundred people. It went, it got mental, it got mental. We'll get back there as soon as we humanly can. The last chip battle of this year is December the 8th. Then obviously we're not gonna do them over Christmas. So we're gonna try to book a few through the year over the, so, it's, so the next year is kind of, we're gonna try anyway, because if they come up, they come up and we're gonna do them. Uh, where's the shout out for Soul Sp Hey, Orion, you all right? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Um, there's a lot of people on the chat tonight and there's not even a Sea of Carvo and I'm still losing track. I'm so sorry about that. Right, a little bit more chip battles before we move on. Chip Fest Halloween is happening tomorrow. If you are in Liverpool or would like to go to Liverpool, Oracle's going to be playing it. Tommy Creep's going to be there. He's just got some new strings. Zeiss are doing Genesis on a Sega Genesis, which I'm looking forward to. Almost more than Chip Battle. Uh, Meth Pop are going to be there as the Venger Boys, which is actually legit going to be awesome, isn't it? Oh, It's going to be nice being back in Liverpool. Is it our first Chip Battle in Liverpool? I think so, yeah. <laughs> and anyone that saw last... <laughs> Why do I do that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he saw last week, but I, I did a whole thing about um, Calm Down Killer, the fellow that runs it. I, I've, I'm such a big fan of his nights. It's, I respect him a ridiculous amount. Oh no, I don't even think I even really did it on the show. If you go on the Game Face show, if you go on our Chip Battles update, you can kind of see a distinct shift in ch tone. In fact, Oracle, if you could share that, I'd really appreciate it. It's on the show page. There's Just as soon as I get to Calm Down Kidder, I'm just there going, oh, I love you so much, man. I love you so much. <laughs> and it's legit. It's, it's not like a press release thing. It's like, oh, we get to play Calm Down Kidder's thing. We get to play Calm Down Kidder's thing. So we've got Duke Flex versus the Tim Foyle Hat Brigade tomorrow night in Liverpool. I think it's about three quid or five quid or something like that. And we had Duke Flex sent us a video, that awesome, oh, and you all saw that, didn't you? Did everyone see that? It was so good. I don't think I did. Which one was that? I'm sure you probably had it on in the background at all. I showed it you like three times. Are we gonna have a domestic right here on the show? Is it the one that goes hardest tunes? Hardest tunes ever. Yeah, yeah. is it that one? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we had Tim Fall Hat Brigade. He replied last week, and that was very, very good. Flushing the old toilet with the eyes. I told you to watch the eyes, and if you did, then you loved it. Yes, I do have a I do have a tattoo there. It's a um, long story. I'm not going to go into it right now. Um, <laughs> Duke Flex has stayed. Why did I do this? This is just putting me off so badly. I can see myself on there. I look like I don't even want to say what I look like. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Anyway, Duke Flex has replied, and this is awesome. I hope you like it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing future Chip Battles champion, Duke Flex. So, Duke Flex, what do you think of Pinfoil Heart Brigade's response? Let me tell you something, Tinfoil Heart Brigade. Ah. You think you can intimidate me? That sad attempt, you put your Halloween decorations on a wall and you write your poems like a sissy. Look at me. You think that can scare me off? A real man, a real high flyer, high roller with my Rolex watch and my $3,000 lizard shoes. 
Do you know who you're up against? Uh, you're up against a uh, wheeling, dealing, kiss stealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun who kissed all the girls and made them cry. You're up against the nature boy, a Duke Flex. And this Friday, in Chip Fest 15, I will become the Chip Bells champion of the world. I'll see you there. Attention small business owner, when is a box more than just a box? No! No! Oh no, that's just weird. A box is more than just a box when it can give you a couple of extra hours in bed, or at the very least, some time to do something more fun and or productive than bookkeeping. Just bang all your paperwork in a box and we'll take care of the rest. Accounts Direct. Accountants on your side. Guys! We need you. Oh, sorry for the focus. I moved that. Enough. We need you. We're starting a show on Thursday. In fact, the first time you're watching this is on the show. We're actually there now, within it. Now, we've got this brand new show, Game Face Show. It's going out. We're going to be on Twitch and YouTube. And we need you. We want your input. Help us make the show. It's all about you. So get in touch and get involved. Is that okay? That's fine, but they, they can write content as well if they like. They can write articles. I didn't even say about that, yeah, 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 because we've got GameFaceShow.com, we've got, uh, yeah, right, right, right. Sorry, I'm so focused on the pilot at the moment. Hello there. <laughs> How cool is Duke Flex? I love him to bits. Right, this, I, was, I was already laughing because of my next bit. Uh, I want to I wanna do... I want to do this. Can we get the little thing up for the next segment? Now, for anyone who watches CBeebies, they will recognize. I want to talk about Let's Plays, but I've specifically got the one from CBeebies because, Rebecca, if you are watching, I will give up all of this for you and just leave with you, like, tomorrow. Just just text at GameFaceShow on the Twitters. I follow you, so it's there. It's right there. You can Don't do the DMs, though, yeah, because everyone's on that. But Rebecca from Let's Play, if you are there... Hopefully someone image searches that on Google and this comes up and then... Hey? I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I wanted, I, I wanted to bring up Let's Plays because we've been doing a little bit of them recently. I, I can't throw myself into them, if I'm honest. I, I tried, I used to do the... A little bit, we are, we are sophists, didn't I? But... I... I I, the reason I brought it up is specifically because you're here tonight, so you you love your Let's Plays, don't you? Yeah, I watch them quite a bit. You'll sit in the bath, you know, sit in the bath for like three hours just watching people. You've got regular people that you like to watch. Mm. And I want to know why. I Because mean, I, I'm not slagging it off. I, 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 I understand the appeal. And look at me. Look what I do in my life. I can't have a go at people for... I, I was going to say niche, but it's not even niche, is it? It's, no, it's huge. Yeah. Lots of people watch Let's Plays and lots of people do them. My favourite person who does a Let's Play, he's not as regular as like other people, but he's really funny and dead genuine. And the games he does are like quite, it's not like Minecraft and you know, them sort of Let's Plays. It's so what like do you like? Games. What kind of games do you like to watch and why? What do you get out of it? I like, I like watching games that I've played before. Um, so if so like we played Life is Strange and then he put out a let's play for it So I watched it just to sort of compare the way We played it and see what options he chose, but then I then I'll watch games where I know I won't buy them games So I can just sort of enjoy the game without playing it as well That's interesting. I guess uh, they've gone a bit more sort of story based now games haven't they there's, there's yeah. a you can enjoy them in a kind of cinematic way we've got mark mark apply at the air yeah everyone loves him don't they 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 i did he's all right he's all right uh, mike dixer said i do kind of watch them but only watch certain 
people. Who? Who do you watch? Who do you watch? Uh, we, we've just had a, a, a foot status report. It's all right. It's getting better. It's fine. Don't worry, Pempadu. Uh, Pempadu, you what? You won one of the competitions, so you need to check and message me about that. I do it after the show, getting my DMs and all that. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to ask you because it, it seems a bit weird. Uh, Eleanor watches Skyrim, Fallout Four, and as Soph said, agrees with you. I can enjoy watching a game without having to buy it. It's interesting. What would what would you like to see us that do then? What what, what would you? What would your ideal game face show let's play be? Because I'm not too fussed, but I wouldn't mind doing it. I used to do it. I quite like doing Shenmue. But I think that's just because you were next to me with those big long socks on. I think that's why. That's the only reason everyone was watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't my witty banter, was it? It's because we did it in bed. Oh, yes. Feed the cat, Soph. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't we, know. We, did we let's play... Um... Oh, I'm sorry. I, Eliane. Eliane. I'm so sorry. I, I got your name wrong. You're going to learn very, very quickly with me. I am really, really bad at pronunciation of everything. Mm. Uh, we said Overwatch. I, I, I'd play Overwatch, but I'm not let's play in that. I don't know. I'd play it. I'd switch it, but I wouldn't let's play it. What would you like to see us do? Like a story from start to... Finish. Uh, KNX has asked, why is Graham naked? I'm not, it's Halloween. Come on, get on board. <laughs> Jesus. Right, I want to move on anyway, because we've got loads and loads and loads to get through. Uh, Battlefield 1, just a quick mention, it's out if you've not played it. And it's already doing better than the... Than its chart debut, sorry, has outsold Battlefield 4 and Hardline combined, which is quite good. It's the, you know, it's all Brexit and all that, isn't it? Eh? The good old days of war, <laughs> eh? Battlefield 1, it's, it's selling like, it's the same game, different skin. You know, there's a couple of horses in it. It's exactly the same game as it's been for years. But everyone's like, oh, hey, eh? hey, old days of war. Love a bit of that. Everything was better then. Uh, but no, actually, they've brought back the structural environments, which I'm very, very, very happy for, and there's random doll stuff. Why did they get rid of it in the first place? They're absolute idiots. Uh, my neighbour, I saw him in the... Because I live in, like, you know, multi-storey. I saw him in the corridor the other day, and he was like, is my shouting bothering you? Now, he... He shouts quite a lot. Him and his, you know, they have arguments and all sorts, don't they? And he was like... Stones for shoes. The way because he's above us, isn't he? And he was like, oh, it's battle that Battlefield one's been getting me excited. I was like, no. Screaming about how much money she spent is not Battlefield one, thank you very much. <laughs> but he's enjoying it anyway, and he and it's 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 enough of a game to be an excuse, so good for him. But uh, yeah, go for it anyway. I think I think that's a good idea. Nintendo Switch! If you were watching last week, you saw me just going like this. Ooh. And I've not seen a game or a console in ages, actually, but maybe No Man's Sky, probably, actually, that has caused so much fuss and palaver. My feed has been chock full of it, which is amazing, considering... We essentially know nothing about it. <laughs> the amount of arguments and fuss that's been going on has been absolutely ridiculous. Uh, there was a big thing, Jordan Jabroni quite rightly said that you can't see any GPS on there, which is quite interesting. Oh, we've just had Mark, sorry, let me just jump back for a moment. What's a Let's Play? It's, it's when you watch a YouTube of someone playing a game. Right, you're up to speed now. Generally, they talk over it. They might do it in a character, so they'll try and be evil or good or whatever. That's a let's play. Uh, but I just did the let's play because, Rebecca, I love you so much. Anyway, back to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there's an interesting thing with this. I don't want to go into it too much because we talked about it loads last week. But they, they did have motion control. They did have multi-touch patents. They did have GPS patents. You know, it, it, all the information that the stuff leaked off was there. So I, I just don't really understand why people are having, like, big online arguments about something that we've seen one video for and nothing has been confirmed. But Nintendo are getting really, really good at this now, creating this... This big fuss, this fanboy fuss, or, or people who aren't fanboys, but they're just putting putting it to rights and all the rest of it. We will find out soon, though. January the 13th. Oh, my God. What are we in now? Um, End of October, isn't it? Yeah. January 13th is when they've said they're going to put the next official thing out. I do hope it's got touch, but motion... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I would say, though, stop hating on it. Stop hating on it all, because... The PS4 and the Xbox are just 
essentially identical. They're just gaming PCs. They're just gaming PCs. They've got, you know, some nice VR. There's some lovely stuff for there. Really, really good. At least Nintendo are doing something different. At least they're trying something new. And can you just please stop with all the fighting over stats and all that? Because historically, the most powerful console has not, like, won the console wars for each generation. So just get off your thing about harassing everyone. Just enjoy your thing. Can you imagine arguing like this over a bloody toaster or a telly? Seriously. It annoys me that. Or, because it's a toaster, it's a complete waste of time. It was an offence to the fact that I was a chef for eight years. I got in the Guardian with my food. She brings a microwave and a toaster into my kitchen. Don't expect me to be all like lovely about it. It's my kitchen. <laughs> Let's not get funny about who pays the bills. I'm contributing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you look up the patents, just search Nintendo Switch patents. I've put a thing here if Oracle wants to share it. They're all there for the Nintendo Switch. So, but, but either way, just get on with your lives. Enjoy Christmas. We'll find out in January. Let's stop faffing about. Right, a couple of shout outs. Apache Lands are having their 10 year anniversary. 14th of April next year. Oh, there's a load of things here for shout outs. If you could drag them over to me, Oracle, I'd appreciate it. I don't want to miss them. 14th of April to the 16th of April. That's the Friday to the Sunday. Bramley Co. Close. Uh, we've got a link there. That's going to be below. If you're watching on YouTube, just click below. Uh, it's going to be in Stockport. They're having their 10 year anniversary LAN party. Uh, there's a thing there. You can have have a look another one as well this much much closer this monday and i think we're gonna be there manchester gamers united are having their halloween party i've already jumped the gun on my costume <laughs> you realize now you said that you have to turn up in that that is your costume i think it's gonna be amazing you dance like that. that's that way that what you're about <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're going to be there on Monday. No idea what we're going to be filming yet, but we are going to be filming something because I can't do anything now without Steve getting out his filming stick and forcing me to film. We did three films on Monday. Oh. Right, I want to move on to something a little bit less light-hearted. I don't want to sort of, like, you know, should we just bring it bring it down a little bit? The Vive recently, some of you may have heard of Jordan Bellamire. She was playing a game called uh, Qui VR. And uh, that's not her picture, by the way. That's just a stock photo of a, a girl with a plane of vibe. So, Qui VR, you've got a bow and arrow, and it's all, it's all you know, wonderful, wonderful tech demo for it. But you can play it multiplayer. And there's you, I, if you're into your gaming, you're into all that, or, or even if you're on Facebook, it's you've got these horrible big headlines at the moment. You know, woman was sexually assaulted via VR. And I don't want to make light of it. You know, there's been plenty of memes and jokes and all the rest of it. It's 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 quite it's quite a serious, it's quite an interesting thing because of the implications. I mean, we don't have a law for this. We don't have any common you know, if if a woman's being accosted in the street, then it's a cultural thing for people to intervene, you know, usually anyway. Um we don't really have a thing with VR yet. We don't really have a code of practice and I've been and I've been giving this a lot of thought. Like what what do we do about this? How? What? What do we do about a girl going into? You know, do we? Do we, we can't monitor these things. Not. Not in any realistic manner. I mean, maybe someone like Nintendo or whatever. You have a very, very small ecosystem. But, but overall, you can't. You can't monitor millions and millions of people online for a certain movement. And then I thought, well, do we have to start recording all people being on VR so that if there's a complaint lodged? Because this is legit. You know, if if you're in a if you're in this hyper real world, and I showed you last week. Old Ronnie falling over, you know, it, these, this is an immersive thing. Especially the Vive. The Vive is mind-blowing. You are there. You're just there. You end the story. And I've been thinking about this a lot. Like, we can't start remotely recording so that if there's a... What if there's a complaint and then we go back? And, and then I just kind of thought, isn't the easy option for this to just have an invisible, like a, a ball around the genital area, you know? Seriously, guys. I've been thinking about this a lot. I mean, I'm, 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 and I don't mean this in a bad way. I mean, you're not invading people's rights. You're not recording them or whatever. If, if my virtual hand went to someone's crotch, if there was, like, almost an invisible shield there, so as soon as it went, it stopped. Like, because you're not in... I'm not in the same room as you. It's multiplayer online. Do you get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I've actually got a solid 
by someone else playing the virtual. So yeah, sorry. I, I you know what? It's... I thought when you said she'd been assaulted, she was wearing the headset, and someone came up and assaulted her in the physical sense, like real life. No, it was. But in, because she in was wearing game. it, she didn't. See it's in the game. Some guy, what was his name? Big Bro Four Four Two chased her around the game, and just kept grabbing her, her boobs and her crotch. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Don't, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to say this seriously. Well, why is it not like any other like online social thing where if someone's being inappropriate, you can block them and just stop them from interacting? With I don't you? know. I'll be perfectly honest. I think that the the headlines are taking it a bit too far. I, I do think I do think they're overblowing yeah, it for the sake of clickbait. Like misunderstanding <laughs> it as well as exaggerating it. Um, but, yeah. I think they should be able to just block someone. Yeah, that's yeah. Like doing it does stuff. seem a bit odd that she was like, "No, no, no, no." It's like we'll just take the thing off. Stop doing it then. Um, it, yeah. To me, it feels like the next generation of teabagging. You know, like when you when you play first person shooters and you'd <laughs> yeah. got you, totally got you. <laughs> uh, it feels like next generation of that, and ultimately, there's not a lot we can do about it. We can't start monitoring people. We can't start, I mean, obviously, yeah, you're right because clickbait. You, you're totally right. I mean, I'm not bringing it up because. I didn't want to specifically talk about the story because I, I do think it is clickbait. And I think it, it, it's bad that people... It's the same as any new technology, the same as any new thing. Straight away, it's like, how can we sell it on fear? How can we make it bad for everyone? And what I, But what I came to my thinking, and please let me know on this, just put, uh, just put a force field around, the, you know, there. Just put a thing there. So that if a virtual hand gets there, the guy on the other side is still moving... But the virtual hand can't get past it. Problem solved. You don't have to go to the Guardian. You don't have to do all this. Just put vir put, put force fields around there. I'll make everything gender neutral. Because then it's just a, a thing with no bits. Yeah, well, that, that was another thing, actually. Um, tickle, my, tickle my anus and call me Samantha. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, Second Life, there were sex rooms. I'm not even going to get into Second Life because that, that is a whole heap of, like... The, Second Life was awesome for that, all the slaves and wonderful stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Um, Ryan said people are scared of change and that VR is getting too weird. Come on, games, they, they, they were always weird, though. They were always... Uh, can I, I've got a shout-out for... Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Haiku Zamalam. Good luck with pronouncing there. Yeah. Shout out to Haiku Zamalam. I've, I've not got that right, but sod yeah. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that's good. Yeah. I mean, gender neutral. But I. But then again, we, we've got to find. I'm not big on safe spaces and all that nonsense, but I do think that. The best way to sort it out is just a force field. Right, we're moving on anyway. We're moving on. Please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on there. Because I do, I do, when I get home, I watch this and I read everything, even if you do it. But yeah, block as well. Blocking people. You don't need a big bloody thing. Zoe Quinn. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting onto this. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, Zoe Quinn is the creator of Depression Quest and hate figure for lifelong virgins everywhere. Uh, she was she was the reason Gamergate started. Um, for nonsense, nonsense reasons. And she's done something wonderful. I'm really, really happy about this. I'm not particularly into what she's doing. I don't know if I'll play it myself, but she's got a Kickstarter at the moment for Project Tingle. And uh, yeah, it's, it's that fella Chuck, isn't it, that she's got involved? Chuck Tingle, oh my word. I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about this. It, we've moved on to, we've moved on to the fact that it, it's like a Sega CD style game, like a, a full motion video. The most ridiculous person ever. I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a particular fan of her, but oh my word. What are the Gamergate lot going to do when they see this? Going to absolutely wet themselves, aren't they? And you know what? Good for you. Because the amount of hate and harassment and all the rest of it she gets, good. I'm glad she's going this way. I'm glad that she's putting unicorn heads on people and doing weird sexual stuff and all the rest of it. I'm glad. Good for her. And good for her not hiding away and going off into all that life. Um, please, please, hashtag Gamergate. Do a tweet. I want them to know that. I because because seriously, those guys. I maybe though, maybe with all this chest and all the rest of it, some of them because we know some of them are very very repressed, and maybe that they'll finally realise what they actually are and why they are hating on women so much. Maybe it's because you like men. Let's be honest. Not that there's you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but 
you repressing it and what then happens, that's bad. Just suck a dick and move on with your life. Right. Have you guys got, have you guys seen this? I don't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe Quinn, what are your thoughts on Zoe Quinn? I feel a bit bad for her. Because she's got all this hate for nothing, really. Just a load of adolescent kids have got on and gone, oh, look at this girl, she's done a game. And they've not liked it because it's, a girl yeah a game I don't, I don't know man i i you know i'm i'm a game journalist or whatever and i've got on with people who make games yeah. what am i supposed to do it's kind of part of the job you know oh i'm not getting into game again but it is part of the job to talk to you know whatever but i'm not getting into all that good for her anyway check out the kickstarter there's a link below if anything just have a look at it for the gifts because they're they're glorious i've got some stills of them there but the full gifts are just absolutely amazing like i said i'm not interested in it but Good for them. Good for them. I'm happy for her. Right, uh, Mr. President, President Huggy, Hoodie. Actually, wait, before we move on. Yeah, the order was a bit weird there, wasn't it? I, we've just had a comment there. Who said the comment? Uh, uh, Bronze Troop. It was a bit weird. In my head, when I planned the show, that felt like it would flow a bit better, but it, it kind of, it was a bit grim, wasn't it, with the sexual assault and then. I kind of figured sexual assault and then, like a good, someone who's been harassed online as well, We'd then move on to her just being like, screw you, but but it was a bit weird, yeah. The way you delivered it. it was the way I delivered it, wasn't <laughs> it? You shouldn't have put me in this seconds before I went on air. It's thrown me completely. Uh, you don't know what Gamergate is, good for you. Do not Google it, do not check it out. Just check out this, just check out the Kickstarter and leave it at that. Trust me. Um, right, Mr. President has put out an interview on the Chip Win blog with Grant Henry, aka Stemage. They're going to be there talking ice cream bread. Ice cream bread, that's one thing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> FM, which is sound chip, and mental health. I think we've got, I've put a link on the show notes. If you could get it out, Oracle, I would really appreciate it. If not, click below. It's all below. I put a lot of work. If you go back on the YouTubes and watch below, I put links. Everything that we talk about, there's links so you can jump straight to it. Below that, there's links to everything we talk about. Almost everything. Uh, there might not be sometimes. If it's Sony, it's like, well, you know what Sony is. But we try to put links to everything that we talk about. So go and have a look. I know, ice cream bread, it sounded amazing, didn't it? Uh, like, let's move on. Uh, PS4, I brought some pro controllers. And again, that's been a, it's been a little bit of a Nintendo Switch moment. People, I, I, actually, Oracle, you said the same thing, didn't you? They, they were ugly, and I didn't get that. John and Jabroni said that yeah, as just, well. I don't like them. But they don't need to be pretty, though. They might be really comfortable and ergonomic, but I just don't like the way they look. Oh, fair enough. I don't care. I, after playing with Lasaris's one the other day, I'm totally sold on him, man. Really nice controller. Yeah, we got the... Well, and that wasn't particularly pretty, but to feel it was like, oh. But that's another one of them where people are just going mental, like... You know what? Just just get over it. If you don't want it, leave it be. Stop moaning about it. Uh, the left one is definitely ugly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Don't buy it then. Don't buy it. You're all right. King Gwyn, you brought this up with me, Oracle. And we actually, some of the games that we give away on the show are a result of this, the, the grey market. So people buy like Humble Bumble deals and all the rest of it. They've got 20 games in there, 10 games. There's usually a couple of keys left over and that's how we get a lot of the games i don't like i don't have to go and suck up to games companies then people just go yeah do you want this and i can give it away but there's been a bit of a trouble recently hasn't there people have been activating games and then it's been they've been going back and actually getting rid of them haven't they what are your thoughts on this mr oracle sir because you were the one that put this on the show notes aren't you well it's it's just a bit of a gray area thing like should people be able to buy games for cheap and then activate the codes like and then sorry sell them to places where the game's more expensive it is a gray area but it, it seems a bit odd that people are even harassing over it i don't know i don't know i hope it doesn't come to an end uh a great great groovy one has said can you say ecky thump ecky thump there's a Goonies fan there. And Joel has asked for a shout out. Hello, Joel. You all right? Hello, hello, hello. And Joel's also just declared that he or she is a sex toy. So that's wonderful. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, but anyway, yeah, be careful with, you know, these grey codes. You're only saving a little bit of money. I'm, I'm a bit worried now because we've been giving them away on the show. These humble, humble extras, but we're not selling them, but I'm a bit worried. We're gonna, we might be in a bit of trouble if... Actually, no, because I'm just inviting people to text now, aren't I? Going, it stopped working, and I'm like, did it? Are you sure? And then it's a bit awkward. Just, just... Tough. Whatever. Right! VGA! We, I, I completely cocked it up last week, and, and I asked for help, and you all sent me his real name, which I couldn't say on the chat. I was completely, completely useless with it, but his name was Tronimal. Tronimal. If you watched the bit last week where I was saying that, there is the I, and I perfectly timed it, and it's going to be there again. No! There you go. If you're watching on YouTube, that was it. Go and watch him. He put a VJ out on a Game Boy so you can run it through monitors and all the rest of it. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, moving on again, because I've covered that last week. That's it. I, I've got, I, I apologise, though. I really, really cocked it up last week. It was a total mess. I'm sorry about that. No disrespect. Uh, so we've got Chip Tunes for Autism. That's just come out. Volume 1. Potions of Awareness. And all the money goes to the Autism, Autism Society on Autism Advocacy. And I'm going to get the thing up as well because I've got the... Well, there's loads of people on there. I know Mr. Brunton's on there who had a birthday on Sunday. Future Eater. We've got Beater Man. We've got Doppel. It, it's only $6. Give it a buy. And if you're not into Chip Tune. Six dollars. That's that's a good charity thing, isn't it? That's a good charity thing, and oh, I think that's wonderful. I'm quite happy about that. We've had we've had a good mix of sort of positive mental health, and I, I think that's great. I've just completely undermined it by dressing a, as a as a, a man of the night. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have to wrap up the show soon, aren't we? Civ 6 is out. Lots of people are going mental on my feed about that. My favourite thing about it so far is the fact that the the the, the people, the leaders, uh, Gandhi is the best one. I, 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 it's ridiculous. Why didn't I get a picture of Gandhi when I knew I was talking about Gandhi? I don't know. It's, it's complete madness. I just quite like that, the England one. And, and we're in England and all that. But yeah, the Gandhi one's best. I, that, I've seen nothing but screenshots of Gandhi wanting to go to like nuclear war and and proposing peace. And then the next morning, he's got armies all around. It's so they, they basically just put a, a, a cartoon version of Gandhi in civilization. And it makes no sense, but it is hilarious. Please let me know. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, Ryan is. Uh, Separat's playing it right now. Uh, Bronze has said I want to get Civ. Yeah, everyone's on it. Oh, I've not had a chance yet, but I would love to. Last story before we move on to the end of the show. Pokemon Go Halloween. It's kicking off. You've got double candy right now. And that includes capturing, that includes selling. And for your buddy Pokemon, you walk half the distance to get your, your candies. But... I deleted it on Sunday, Saturday, sorry, it's too little too late. I needed a bigger update. I needed something, I needed something a lot more exciting to happen than double candy at Halloween. I'm sorry about that, but I'm out, I'm out. Candy was way too slow to begin with, even double's too slow. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't have minded, a bit, just a bit more, why am I dressed like this? A bit more of a tease, something a bit more interesting. I, maybe I'll reinstall it, but you don't really do that, do you? Uh, Look, look, I'm just going to call you Ludo. Ludo's done with Pokemon Go. Uh, uh, Separat's trying out the Vikings. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Pokemon gone. Oh, deleted it three weeks ago. Yeah, see, Nintendo. I think, I think Niantic, I sorry, should have been on it. Go on. I think I had Pokemon Go for like five days just after it was released. And then I was just like, I'm done. I had it for about five days. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I was gutted because I wanted you to play it with me. But I was, was like... Just, it was just so... rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a lot better. It could have been so much better. And yeah. quite easily, I think, as well. But it was just... It was, it was great, but part of what was great was all the updates that were going to come. You know, Niantic were coming out and officially saying, we're going to give you this, this, or this. And we were all like, oh, I'm going to get my team up. My team's going to be so strong. So when player battles come, I'll be dead happy. All the rest of it. And yeah, it never happened. And 
you know, how much time are you going to give to it? Plus, my version of it, just every five minutes was saying, Pokemon Go, stop working, stop working, stop working, sod it. Not the best play state to play in since I'm in Florida. Oh, Florida's great, though. Uh, deleted it because I'm disabled. Well, fair enough, fair enough. Get yourself on Civ instead. Monster Hunter is out soon, and it's too damn hot most days. It is, isn't it? It's ridiculous out there. Mate... It gets to 80 here, and we're all we're all dressed like this, like outside, just going. It's 80, it's 80 for you. Dressed like this? No. Well, <laughs> they 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 go completely topless, don't they? They go completely topless. Uh, last thing. Oh, it's gone quick again, hasn't it? Oh, thanks everyone for joining us. Actually, before I'm going to stop, I'm I'm going to go. Like before before we move on to the last bit and we do the last video and everything like that. You've been absolutely lovely tonight. I'm sorry if I've not given you all the shout outs that I could have done. Uh, I've got. Power Stone 3 to be announced on... Oh, how good would that be? Thank you for that. Power Stone 3 on the Switch, that would be ideal. Uh, <laughs> JK Lol has said that Manchester is frigging nippy. Holy crap. What does that mean? Because you got your nips. <laughs> I know you like it. <laughs> but no, thanks thanks everyone for getting involved. I'm so sorry. I, I am, I'm going to go home and I read every word of this. So thank you so much. Bino, no, no. I'm, you're a lovely, lovely fella and you really support the show and thanks for sending me a photo of your knees the other day. But I'm not, that, this isn't a sex show. I'm not going into all that. Uh, oh, just now, just now, Gwem has sent me a video. We're going to get that on next week. He's going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini. So not only are we going to be showing that, we're going to be showing his chip battle that we did at the Science Museum London. Oh, that's wonderful news. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. I'm very, very happy about that. Right, ending Sonderfest, November the 11th. Uh, we're going to be there, and we're going to end on a video, which is... Oh, in fact, could, uh, before we do, actually, sorry, can we just go full screen so I can say thank you to them? Because that was a bit weird, wasn't it, eh? Oh, sorry, Oracle. <laughs> Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Have you enjoyed yourselves? It's been all right. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's OK. Yeah. No, it's brilliant. Thanks yeah. for the enthusiasm, guys. <laughs> That's why I asked you here, because I knew we'd, we'd bounce so well. <laughs> it reminds me of old times... I know, I miss you. I miss you on the show. Oh, you were, you were on every week, every game face for ages and ages. To the people that have joined me, especially for tonight. Yeah, please do. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, my Lair of the Jackalope guys that I've been watching. And, oh, yeah, camera. Lair of the Jackalope guys, <laughs> hello. And my brother. And I think my boss might be watching as well. <laughs> so, hey. Ian? Ian. Give him more money. What are you doing? <laughs> We're starving here. <laughs> My brother had to bring food round yesterday. Give him more money. <laughs> right, we're going to go anyway. Sunderfest, November the 11th. That We've got a huge takeover on the Friday. There's tickets available if you go on GameFaceShow.com. Uh, Oracle's going to put a link out. But can we, we're playing this video because he's confirmed, aren't we? He's going to be there. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, this is our first officially confirmed artist for Chip Battles at Sunderfest. Wonderful. Oh, I like saying that. So this is Micro Tuner. He's going to be there. He sent us a little video so you can get all pumped up and feeling good about it. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye.